hello welcome to crafting with cool designs in this tutorial i'm going to be sublimating on a 20 ounce tumbler okay right now i clean my tumbler and then i'm going to wrap my transfer around it wrap it and hold it really tight yeah make sure that um you overlap it really well i do it 9.4 in the width and 8.4 25 in the length so i keep it really tight and then i tape the the seam you press it you tape you press it you tape you need to keep it really tight so that uh, all the air can come out of it there's no air you need to tape it really tight up there because it can i, I can say it can explode it can open there and then you, there will be some ghosting at the seam if you don't if you don't tape it good enough and then I put one long tape over the whole seam from the bottom to the top all across the cup. And then I'm going to run my finger on the seam, the inside seam. Now I'm going to tape around the top of the cup. When you tape, you pull it, you pull it, and then you, you tape it around it. And then tuck the, the excessive part into the cup. You do the same with the bottom. You start at uh, at the seam, hold it tight, and then pull it hard. Pull it so that the tape can can um, curl. Pull it really tight. Yes. And then you you tape it, tuck it in, and then your cup is ready for pressing. So now I'm going to press my tumbler. I press it for 365 for 35 seconds. I press one side for 35 seconds and then I rotate it and I press the other side for 35 seconds. Okay. And um, here I'm waiting for the press to catch up and then I'll put it back in. So now I turn it and then I, I, I'm doing the other side. And when I, when I do both sides, I take it out. I take it out of the press. And then I push back in the bottom so that it can be done again. And then I rotate it again for five seconds. And then I push back the top, do it for five seconds, rotate it for five more seconds. And then I'm done with it. And then now I'm going to press my other cup. Okay. Um, I use the, I use this because it's, to me, it's faster than the, than the oven. This, I, I mastered this. I can do this really, really quick. So it's good to get one of these, one of these, um, presses and practice with it. You will, you will, uh, master it in the process. Okay. I rotate it already. Now I'm going to take it out and put the bottom in and I'll do the bottom again. And then five seconds, I will rotate it again and put the other side. And I'll also go back and put the top. I'll do it five seconds more. I'll rotate it. I'll do it. This will prevent ghosting. If you tape your cup really well, it will prevent ghosting. You tape your cup really well and do it just like I did. It will prevent ghosting. It will come out really, really well. So let's go check the results. Moment of truth. Drum roll. So uh, I'm going to reveal the cups. These are two of five cups that I had to do. And um, I know it came out really well because I tapered really well and then I sublimated really well. The body, I I, I, I sublimated it, I, I turned it and then I put the top back in for five seconds. I rotated, I did it for five seconds more. I pushed in the, back in the bottom. I sublimated for five more seconds. I rotate it for five more seconds. So um, those two places, the top and the bottom, they will get extra attention, like extra heat, so that uh, you will get a clean seam at the bottom and a clean seam at the top. You won't have any ghostings. Look at that. Look, look, look. It looks like cake. Like <laughs> It looks like strawberry cake. <laughs> they came out really well. I love it. And I've, you have been using my own sublimation paper and my own sublimation ink if you need this paper this, this is the 13 by 19 um size 
so I can put two um, tumbler wraps on it on the 13 by 19 and then I you know I cut it I separate them and then I tape them on my cup yeah this ink and this paper these are master master of sublimation let's look at this one too let's check this one out yes yes look at the bottom look at the color look at the seam look at the bottom and the top they came out really well and i have five of these to ship yes and here they are the five cups that i've done they came out flawlessly the bottom no ghosting the top no ghosting and um i'm so happy with my result right now i'm going to ship them out watch the video do what i showed you and you will get flawless cup don't forget to like and subscribe thank you